Hello, everyone. I'm Chomo from Huawei. Our topic today is Kubernetes and Service Mesh upgrade automobile companies IT infrastructure. I will introduce a Service Mesh practice in production environment. Since launch in 2018, Huawei application Service Mesh has served a large number of customers. The practice is about one of them, a leading automobile manufacturer in China. I will introduce how Cloud Native helped upgrade their IT infrastructure. About me, I'm an architect of Huawei Application Sales Mesh, currently develop Cloud Native projects such as Sales Mesh, Kubernetes, and Microsoft and also help promote Sales Mesh and Cloud Native in China. I'm author of a book, Cloud Native Sales Mesh Istio, help people learn Sales Mesh and uh, Istio. My talks include four and three parts. The first part is the consumer's business background and the current solution. The second part is about the challenge of current solution, and most importantly, target cloud native solution to solve these challenges. And finally, I will introduce how to migrate current solution to a target cloud native solution. Our customer is a leading automobile manufacturer with the growth of automatic automobile demand in China. The company's business developed dramatically, especially their new energy vehicles, and put great pressure on their IT infrastructure, such as increased complexity as application becomes complicated and need to integrate with other platform. Also increased capacity and number of vehicles increased. Also the more security requirements includes access control and the access of authentication. Also having ops work are high and high IT costs are big problems. This is the current architecture the customer IT engineer told us they seem no to the popular microservice framework several years ago. Instead, build their own microservice platform based on DNS, ELB, and NGX, and provide service discovery or advancement in an independent platform rather than in application. The total architecture greatly depends on the central ELB, which provides load balancing for internal service communication. And DNS is responsible for internal service resolution. Ingress and JAX provide a TLS combination for the ingress TLS traffic. And Zoom plays the role of L7 application gateway. NGX on each node helps the traffic to a local service instance. To better understand the difference of a current solution and a target cognitive solution, we will compare the abstraction view of two architectures. An abstraction of the current architecture view looks like this. The top is application layer. Applications are developed with multi-language. And the third layer is responsible for deploying environment. Currently, applications are deployed on virtual machine and BMS. The central part is the second layer, provide service management by integrating DLB, DNS, and NGX. Because of the second layer, microservice platform, the so application are mainly de developed in Spring Boot instead of Spring Cloud. And this is the abstraction of a target solution compared with the previous one. The main difference is the second layer and the third layer replace the ELB, DNS, and NGX integrated platform 
with a unified sales match infrastructure and upgrade deployment from VM and VMS to commits. We can see the total architecture by now changed a lot. So our customer engineer called the current solution a self-developed match-like infrastructure before the period of sales match. Next, we will introduce the challenge of current solution through several aspects and focus on how the target cognitive solution solve these challenges respectively. First, let's see search discovery and load balance. With current solution, DNS and ELB, they are important role in search discovery and load balance. There is VM instance bound to ELB, register sales main and ELB IP DNS, consumer call DNS and send request to resolve the ELB IP, and ELB DNS and traffic to select it VM instance. Per node, index proxy request to local service. And with target solution, uh, companies and issue no need service registry. Istio will automatically retrieve registry, registry date, data from companies, plant step process in the step traffic, and perform service discovery. Then send a request to one selected instance. And the service step process just the step traffic and perform server self so traffic management. Compare two solutions by following views. First, as for service registry, the former need service name and year be registered to DNS and the latter no need registry. And as for service discovery, the former is by ELB and DNS and the latter is by match data plan and control plan. The former load balance greatly depends on ELB and the latter is by plant style proxy. When deploy a new service with current solution, administrators have to manually register new service name to DMs, but with target solution, you still can get the service and its service instance automatically from commits. With current solution, consumer need to send a request to internal ELB and ELB and NGX act as a static proxy. And with target solution, consumer send a request to target service request accepted by match data, which act as a transparent proxy for form service discovery and advance. Next um, is Canary release. Canary is one important part in our customer's data work with current solution. ELB is responsible for routing traffic to VM instance. And the traffic to a different version depends on the number of instances. As there are three instances of version one and two instances of version two, so that 60% traffic will be sent to version one and 40% will be sent to version two. In target solution, by uh, each traffic weight for different version can be specified. Weights of version controls proportion of traffic each version received. For example, the above row we wrote 30% traffic to instance of version two, and the other 70% traffic will be wrote to version one, no matter how many instances each version has. Besides providing weighted policy, sales match can control only the traffic match the condition you wrote into a certain version. The condition is related to a protocol. As for HTTP, 
the position can be HTTP header, path, source IP, and so on. This manifest makes request with DEV group header listened to version two, and the other still listened to the default version one. For the target solution, sales match can do canary release for a group of cells, just as the root for the first cells and the other cells in the group were following the root, makes traffic from version one is sent to version one, and from version two is sent to version two. Okay. This table summarizes the difference of two canary as for weighted policy with the current solution, which is controlled by instance number, and with target solution, when weight can be specified flexible. And former does not support traffic match policy, and later can control group traffic to a certain version according to match condition. And current solution now support L4 traffic, always support L4 traffic. And target solution can support both L7 and L4, include TCP, TIS, HTTP, GRPC. And with current solution, some L7 policy is developed in application code, but with target solution, all is back L4. No need any change of application code. As mentioned in application background, there are increasingly security requirements with the development of customer business. But with current solution, only TLS condition is provided for ingress traffic. That is, NGX provides TLS condition. All applications have to develop HTTPS service and maintain key and the certificate by themselves and access control is embedded in the application for some confidential interest. And with the target solution, SysMap provides transparent data security, provide TLS combination by gateway operator or needs to upload key and certificate in the form of coordinate secret. And it still also offers mutual TLS for transport authentication. Just enable it without any service code changes. Include provide service to service, secure service to service communication, and provide each service with an identity representing a symbol. And also can automate, automate key and certificate generation quotation and the distribution, provide authorities, access control for target service or target service in place. Okay. This table also shows the difference of two security. Both provide TOS donation and JWT authentication. Uh, the former does not provide any service to service security and neither provides neutral TLS authentication by proxy, transparent TLS encryption, a key management system, automate key and certificate generation, distribution, and rotation, and uh, provide flexible access control by uh, custom condition, such as header source or target IPs. And, and target solution meet our customer security requirement perfected in this practice. When a system becoming complicated, it observability to troubleshoot and optimize the applications. But with current solution, only parallel NGX generates access log and NGX exporter export metric. Tracing agent in this node can generate tracing for Java and for Java applications. But with target solution, 
is still going to generate metric treatment access law for all service by set of cards. Service developers do not need any extra work for this. First, proxy will generate service oriented metrics, covers latency, errors, and saturations. And proxy will generate spans on behalf of applications. Proxy can also generate access log for service traffic. Compare the two solutions in this table. The main difference is that Service Mesh can help collect the observability data for any language with more accessibility, transparency, and uh, flexibility. Because they can generate all kinds of metrics and the metadata or dimensions can be configured. Perhaps they can generate spans for applications. Application only need to propagate several request headers. And perhaps they generate access log. A format of log can, be, can also be configured. And also based on the access metric, topology can be built give a global view of the application and the services. Okay, this is the target call native architecture. This will look like this. A unified infrastructure, Kubernetes and HTO work together, not only provide application development environment, but also provide service management platform covers kernel release, success discovery, load balancing, connection management, circuit breaker, forward injection, traffic mirror, retrial, redirection, authentication, and authority. Also provide metric, Christian, and so on. You can see the data plan works as a transparent proxy perform traffic management, security, and observability on behalf of applications. And the in-graph gateway gives more flexibility than NGX can manage traffic together with the set cards. And control plan is responsible for storing and managing the configuration and distribute the policies to proxies and uh, set cards. And gateways and the resolution and, we, and the solution can easily configure to integrate with consumers' existing canary kiosks and the platform and uh, magic login treatment system. By separating all common lab functions from application code and offload to our infrastructure, the solution can help developers focus on the business work. Summary of the above aspects of uh, this table. The key difference is architecture and the mechanism. The former is an integrated platform, provide basic service discovery and events. And the latter is an infrastructure designed to handle application and communication. As for components, the former platform consists of different components. There will be DMS and NGX. And the latter is a unified infrastructure, including control plan and data plan. Both based on proxies are the former with a static proxy, and the latter is a transparent proxy, can intercept and manage service traffic. This may be the biggest difference and the most important characteristic of this match. As for ops work, the former greatly depend on manual operation and later mostly works automatically. As for service management, the former only provides service discovery and run bands. Retry is coded in application. Later provide powerful service management covers connection, observability, and security. And this difference results in both cost and uh, result reduction of customer 
produce the Artesian plasma. Next, the top fan part is how to migrate user, migrate user's current solution to target community solution safely and gracefully. The main idea is deploy a new environment with target solution and gradually spread the traffic from VLAN cluster and communities cluster to ensure reliability of online service it is required to each service to over to VM instance when your container instance are um, available. First, to fill over between VM instance and the container instance, it is required VM instance and container instance bound to one service, share the same service discovery and events. And our solution is one service refer to container and VM instance by assigning the same label selector and route traffic to both container and VM. As in this case, when consumer service call target service vehicle, traffic can be route to container instance, also can be interpreted to VM instance. Next, and the most important, it is required to retry to VM instance when container instance does not work. And our solution is that retry remote located to specify which type to VAM and container instance are not available. The process will look like this because to container instance fills for some variable the environment for a long term reason. Automatically, we try to remove VAM instance. We try the success and make consumer request success. Finally, it is required a low load balance traffic to container instance with high priority fuel over to VM instance only when container instance are not healthy. And our solution is by using local locality load balance containers split a small part of traffic to VM instance and container instance are unhealthy and so switch all traffic to VAM only when the pandemics are totally unhealthy. As shown in this table, even half of the traffic instance are unhealthy. We still can get 70% of traffic. It is required to make sure both primary preliminary instance and the secondary VM instance meet the traffic as capacity requirement. And that's all of the, our practice. Thank you for your time.